Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about bubble wrap. So what, why bubble wrap? Well, I guess, so recently I actually got a package, a very small one, um, courtesy of Aaron, and it had just arrived today and this was wrapped around it. I started popping it, like you just heard, and it made me wonder, why, why is this so satisfying to do? Well, I looked into it, and I was a little bit, I, I, at first I was taken, I was shocked by the result, but the more I thought about it, the more I, real, more, more I realized, eh, okay, this makes sense. So, bubble wrap, if you're popping it like I was just doing it with your hands, it's actually a muscle relaxer. Why is it so satisfying? Well, because it eases your muscles. It makes you a bit more relaxed than whatever you were beforehand. Now this explains like the squeezing one when you're like popping them with your hands, but a lot of the time you'll see kids, they'll like roll out large portions of it and just jump all over them popping them. From small bubble wrap like this one to big ones that are like 10 times, like there'd be like two of the bubbles on this four on this small square sheet, but it, you would still have the kids like jumping around on them, popping everything. Why is that satisfying then? Well, it's a similar concept. So when you do it with your hands, it's a muscle relaxer, but when you do it with jumping around like happily, joyfully, it is a relaxer, but it's a mental relaxer rather than a muscle relaxer. And no. This is a common misconception. The brain is not a muscle. It's an organ. There are muscles that go through it, but the brain itself is not a muscle. So, but why? What, what, what exactly is the cause behind this? Well, when it comes to muscle relaxer, it's kind of obvious. It's because every, it's the same reason a stress ball is like squeezed a lot of the time. It's just for the sole purpose of it's relieving certain aspects of a muscle and it's, it's pretty much the, the stress ball, or in this case bubble wrap, pretty much consumes the tension that is being pressed into it from all that tension. As far as like jumping all over it goes, it's well, it's it's a little bit different. In that case, it's more of a case of you're getting your mind off of a certain thing. So yes, it'll still be there when, when it comes to jumping on them. It's still there in the long run, but when it comes to in the moment, it's kind of like any kind any other daily activity that you may enjoy doing can get your mind off of bad things for a temporary amount, but is it gone? No. No, it's still there. But it's easier to just kind of relieve yourself of it while focusing on something like that. I guess that's why kids enjoy jumping on bubble wrap so much. It's the same concept as when they're jumping into puddles. They see a puddle, their first instinct is, I want to jump into it. And, I mean, it's because they're sidetracked by it, and it makes sense. I guess, I guess I find like the effects of bubble wrap very intriguing. It's kind of like if you're jumping on it, it's basically a loud version of a, a puddle. If you're doing this, then it's basically a bunch of tiny, um, stress balls that can pop on a sheet of paper. <laughs> I don't know. I guess this is just kind of an analogy and something I wanted to talk about. Shorter video than our usual discussion rant type videos for the most part, but eh, I found this intriguing and like I said, I, I, I kind of wanted to talk about it. Do uh, you guys have any details that you think may have could have been added or discussed along with it? If so, let us know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and consider
consider subscribing to the channel because we do vlogs like this, whether it's psychological stuff, uh, random other topics, events, whatever. Um, we do one of these every single day. <clears throat> if you want to check out the rest of the discussion in the right playlist, click the link on the side of my head over here. Uh, you'll find over 300 videos on that playlist. And that's outside of other videos that vlogs that are done. Um, if you want, if, if this isn't quite floating your boat, but you stuck to the end of it, uh, first of all, thank you. But second of all, why not click the link on this side where you may find something that may appeal to you a little bit more. Uh, in the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in this video, guys, and we hope to see you all in another one. See you guys later.